Hello and welcome to Let Us Fan. My name is Emily Fon Noel Oge of Let Us Fan. So today we are going to be talking about fin, fin rot in catfish farm. You may have seen this or you may have heard about fin rot. So we'll be discussing about what causes fin rot and how to prevent fin rot in your catfish farm. Now I want to advise you try and watch this video to the end and ask me questions of what you may not likely understand. Drop that in the comment section and I promise to get back to you. Then if you're having any issues whatsoever in your farm, do a two to three minutes video of this issue and send it to me. When you send me these videos, I look at it, I'll be able to advise you on the best possible way forward out of your crisis. These services are absolutely free. So don't worry, you're not paying me anything, but I'm here to help you and make sure it works out. Now, and also remember that Let Us Farm is not forming any WhatsApp group. We don't have any Telegram group. So we're not asking you to pay for anything to join anything. All you need to do is to subscribe to Let Us Farm page and then feel free to ask me questions anytime you have any issue in your farm. And my answers would help you come out of this problem. Services are free. So I don't know what you're waiting for. I'll be right back to discuss fin rot in catfish farm. Don't go anywhere. So the first thing is this, uh, maybe you've seen something, but based on what I'm talking about, I'm talking about fin rot. Yeah, this is fin rot. What do you understand by the word fin rot? Fin rot is a situation you look at the fin tail end of your catfishes. So they are getting rotten and sometimes they may even be smelling and you see that they are decaying. Now, what causes this fin rot and what do you think is the possible solution? This is what we are going to be discussing. Like I said, relax, watch this video to the end, ask questions where you don't understand so that you don't make some critical errors. Now, what is fin rot? What causes fin rot? Because this is the first thing that you need to understand. I have seen many people who actually use a whole barrage of medications trying to solve the problem of fin rot, but without really understanding what is the first essential problem that led to fin rot. Now, fin rot can actually lead to other sicknesses in your catfish farm. For instance, fin rot can actually make your fishes to die. Fin rot can actually make your, your water to be contaminated and affect other fishes in the pond, meaning that from one fish, other fishes may also die. But the question is this, what causes fin rot? Now, I don't know what you may have heard that causes fin rot, but I'm telling you now that fin rot, most especially, is not caused by anything that you know or you may be thinking about, but it's mainly caused by issue of cannibalism in the pond. And I will explain this. Now, most times when I try to explain that, you don't need to overstock your catfish farm. It's not really like I'm making excuses for myself because number one, I don't sell any pond to anybody. So I don't have anything to benefit. But what I'm trying to tell you is what is going to benefit you. Now, when you overstock your catfish farm, the law of nature sets in when these fishes are getting big. And in, in the law of nature, something will have to give way for another thing to grow. You may have heard this somehow, or you may not, or you may just be hearing it from me, but this is essentially law of nature. That's why you see that there are birth rates and there are death rates because some will come for some will go. So this is just the natural law of nature. Now, in a place where something is overpopulated, law of nature will set in. What this law of nature does is that the stronger ones would fight to stay and the very weaker ones we go then there are these average ones that want to kill the stronger ones to take possession and then be the leaders to create space because this is a survival instinct 
it is the law of nature even if you watch uh, Nigel wide you see that this is what happens in the wild so also it happens in catfish farm when you overstock at first when your fishes are small you may just see them dropping one two three you may not understand why they are dropping most of the times they drop because their water is contaminated law of nature like i said so they are trying to ease out some of them for the, the other ones that survive to be okay now as these fishes are getting bigger the space is getting more tighter for them now what happens is that you discover that those averagely built ones will look for a way to attack the very big fishes and give them injury because when fishes are getting bigger they are prone to injury because then their body is like opening up so they are more prone to injury than smaller fishes when they there is a prone of injury on them and these other fishes see that space remember catfishes are naturally cannibalistic in nature so in the process of this attack and several things in the pond there is like a small slight of blood other fishes will eat up in this place that there is blood now you see that fish, fish trying to survive trying to defend itself most of the time the fish that have that small dent on it knowing fully well that others are going to come and eat it would always want to go away from where other fishes are what happens is that the water in the pond is not very neat it's dirty now the effect of the dirty water in the pond will now touch the surface open area just like you have an open bleeding in your hand and then you pour contaminated water on it so what happens is that there's going to be bacteria infection which will develop on that surface that is already open and infected with this water so when this bacteria infection comes on that surface remember this is we are as a result of injury from attacks because you overstocked now there is this open wound that now brings this infection on it bacteria infection because the real what you see as fin rod is as a result of bacteria infection so now the dirty water in the pond with high ammonia concentrate now enters the open wood what you now have is that it develops bacteria and when there is bacteria there so there's bacteria infection eating up into the hole or the injury which is already caused by cannibalism so that fish gradually starts getting weaker because the bacteria will now start spreading on the body of the fish as the fish starts getting weaker that thing starts affecting the whole immune system of that fish and before you know the fish dies so you may not notice this whole process i explained but it usually starts from a small cut so from that small cut, it now spreads on the fin region of the fish. So this is what you know as a fin rot. So when you see people saying, oh, my fishes are having fin rot. Fin rot doesn't just happen. It's not like the fin of the catfish will just start getting rot. No, they have to be something. It has to be cannibalism. It has to be because of space. In the battle for survival, there is an injury. Because there is an injury, that thing happens and spreads. Now, okay, after saying this, now what do we think is going to be the solution for it? For me, the first thing you do is once you notice that a particular fish is bleeding in a pond, first thing first is remove that fish from that pond and put it in a separate pond. Isolate it, then keep clean water with the fish. Naturally, naturally once you make sure that the water where you kept this fish is okay within some few days it will heal up and the fish will be okay back to life you return it back to the the, the, the pond where you brought it out from so the normal situation of your blood clotting and everything will heal normally because that's how it happens in the wild but if you are not too comfortable with it and you want to boost things let me remind you whatever you think you are boosting doesn't really work like that it's going to still take the normal gradual process the normal gradual process of healing but if you want to do anything you can get any fish biotics available to you and soak it with the fish that already has that problem in a separate pond that will go the ones where you remove the fish from the immediate treatment of those ones is to change the water in that pond and reduce the stocking density of that pond to give way for other fishes to have good space so that they don't have 
any other injury that will lead to the bacterial infection that will result to fin rot. So this is like it, it's a tied, um, it's a tied effect that this will lead to this and will lead to this, and this is how the system works. So there is nothing like oh my fishes just have fin rot. No, there must be something that triggers this fin rot. And like I said, it has to be the issue of cannibalism, which most of the times comes from overstocking or when you don't when you don't feed your catfishes very well they are cannibalistic in nature so once you don't feed them very well and these guys are hungry they are going to look for food once they're going to look for food they may do something drastic that will lead to this situation i hope i have not confused but if i have kindly use the comment section then if there's anything you want me to come and explain to you i will surely do that happily just drop it in the comment section and until I come your way next time, my name is Melifon Manuel Oge of Leros Farm. Keep farming is a way of life.